happy, but we gotta get into C. We are starting on Town and City. Now, this is definitely gonna be one of those stages where you have to, like, not really have to, but you can really play to the advantage of having a very big stage to just run around. And that's kind of one of the things that might even be good for, you know, Tilde. Just being able to narrowly avoid, you know, Camax while also being able to combo. Especially using, like, the combo extensions. Oh, and, and this could be scary. Good high recovery. I think Tilde realized a lot of Sonics are going to be looking for that F smash when you're grabbing mm -hmm. Red. Oh, man. And wow, taking the stock at, like, 80%? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. You know, Falco... I think everyone knows he likes getting like the fair to get to up tilt and he likes just getting up tilt in general. But when you're spin dashing a lot of Sonic, you're going under that up tilt. It's gonna be hard to like pin you down. But right here, answering back really well is Tilde. Wow. Ooh, and very nice Ooh, getting the taunt. The Feeling taunt. himself a bit. Now what there feels like an issue here. Because now Tilde can get bodied. You don't wanna get taunt a body. Oh, no. Oh, the Tanta body? The Tanta body the and the taunt body? back. Mm -mm. Kamex is playing on another level. And he's not even playing defensive. He's playing a really aggro Sonic. You know, he's going in quite a lot. He sees Tilde doing something, and he's like, I'm Sonic. I can whiff punish from across the stage. <laughs> I have a big fist, and I'm going to hit you with it. Yeah, definitely hit that. Oh, man. And Til oh, I want to see Tilde kill him and taunt back. <laughs> this will be a... Wow. Okay, and right here, this kind of a similar story to the first stock. Kamex took it early and until they brought it back right away. Let's see if Kamex can extend the lead a bit. Ooh. Wow. That's so crazy. That was oh, almost and he's moving. And he's three dancing. times. Hello? Three times that Tole has caught Kamex for landing like that. Very okay. nice. And now, let's see if history will repeat itself again and Kamex will get his own little string to death. Oh, falling out both those up airs. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Tilde dancing in the shield. Oh, good homing attack. Oh, but this could be scary. Really good DI. DI away on that up air so he can't get from the back air. And now, this is the spot that Tilde dreads. Oh, not gonna get that. Not just entirely yet, but we still have Tilde at 110%. And this oh. could go anyway, if yeah. I'm gonna be completely honest. Tilde is known for his very good advantage state and very known for just making stocks disappear in the blink of an eye. Yeah, 82% is not comfortable against Falco. That is not percent you can chill at. He cannot take another up tilt. Venair, I'm surprised that sparks. Good delay on that air dodge, just a little bit. And now double rolling back to stage. Maybe some fear coming out. Wow, this is so close. But Tilde has been able to, like, Kamex has not been, like, been able to get back to a neutral spot. Finally right here. Okay, Kamex now with the advantage. Ooh. Really good on that recovery there. That F throw is not going to take it. But now Falco has to get back to stage. Not going to get it. Kamex has been missing it. But, you know, what's the point when, you know, you still have an F smash that's really good. And it's just like, hey, I can, you know, oh, kill you. Clean Even if it's stuff. not going to be with a, you know, F smash, I could still kill you. Yeah, Kamex, the back airs, as we saw in the last set, have been so on point. And wow, what a last hit situation. Kamex kind of faking out Tilde on that platform right there. It was really good stuff. Lands, fast falls. You saw the fast fall from Kamex right there. He said, no, you can <laughs> you cannot down tilt me. This is a back air. Great stuff. Kamex is playing. I mean, he just took a game off Tilde. Period. That's... That's top, top New York. That's like top three, I, I think. Honestly, hello. Like, look at that. Yeah, I'm pretty top three, top three. Uh, wow, okay. Good stuff from Kamex. Can you keep it up for another game though? Taking one game is only, only half the story. Gotta close it out. Definitely for sure. Now, I'm not entirely sure why we are on Smashville. I do think Smashville is a very good stage for Falco. So it could be just due to the fact that, like, um, you know, Tilde <laughs> once that close range, once those up tilts, and once that death, 
at like 96%, I think that was. That was really nice on Tilde's part. Only with 27% on and still trying to just, you know, fight. They want to make sure that that first game was not just, that was just a fluke. Hello. Yeah, Jaddy, I'm going to be honest with you. I can kind of see it in Tilde's play. I think we're going to a game three and I think we're going to a game three fast. Tilde is looking really hot right now. It's just when you let Falco get that momentum, I, I think this is going to be a stomp. I could just tell in the way he's moving. Okay, Kamex. This is oh, uh, see, that was like his chance to reclaim some some momentum his way and just win it all on an F smash that was not even gonna kill. So a little bit sloppy. Oh, <laughs> uh, you cannot run away from Sonic. Okay, up to. Love this ledge trapping here. We're definitely seeing, you know, till they just really control this match. I don't, I don't know what happened, but this is not the first game that we had. Yeah, I think honestly, Smashville is a big part of it. Kamek simply has no space to do what he was doing before with a lot of whiff punishing with spin dash. You know, till they just, especially with that big middle platform stopping Kamek from landing. Control till they can control the whole stage. Ooh, okay. Going low. Now I know Sonic's F Smash is like very good. It does cover that area, but I'm not entirely sure if it's just that the Falco nails are just or Falco nails are just too strong, or it's just you know. Yeah, I, th I think it's just it. like I mean, still at the end of the day, two framing timing. Um, and I think Tilde, you know, does slight adjustments to the up B. It's you're not always giving the same timing every time. So I think it's just a little bit tougher than it may look for Kamex to get that. And that's a game. Yeah. Absolutely. I felt I felt it in my bones after that big st uh, starting point. Tilde playing playing angry. Playing like playing you, angry. You, you did not get that first game. I'm Tilde. I'm going to stomp you now. So that first game didn't happen? Yeah, till til, uh, till till they's eyes. Until they's eyes that didn't happen. Til I the, guess. Till they pretends not to see me. Look at this. Pow. Like, oh, that was a hundred percent. Maybe I'm gonna lie. I don't know, I'd be lying sometimes, y'all. <laughs> Hello? Like Look at that. Up to, up air, up air, boom, goodbye. Okay, Camex, you just gotta take a deep breath after a game like that. You, you kinda get stomped. Till they just had momentum the whole time, you couldn't take it back. It happens. But now, I like that you're going back to town. You have some more space. You're not going to let Falco get what he wants. But you also got to make sure to not engage too much. And oh. not only that, I really feel like, you know, Tilde has been on, you know, Kamek. They notice a lot of their disadvantage, disadvantage you know, options. And no. That, that is really tragic. Oh. That's just a really sad way to end that out. However, Kamek still has to push through because we have to get, you know, some good action in. Yeah, and Kamex is doing that right here. 73 unanswered. Uh, definitely what you need to make a comeback after a really unfortunate SD like that. It's just, uh, it's a it's a bummer because I could definitely see this game be like a super close game three. So that SD gonna be beating a lot, especially you can't afford one with Tilde could get 60 off one hit. Not only that, Tilde was looking like he wanted. He was out for blood. Yeah, he wanted the stock. That was very nice on Tilde's part. Not letting Kamex get back onto stage. Not even letting Kamex land. And the only way he was able to land there was just by mistiming that barely. And that fair was looking like. Whoa! Oh, Y'all saw that? That could oh, combo. Wow. I guess that could combo. <laughs> Um, almost reminds me of Wii Fit, the way the up B comboed with the, the back air, but that's, that's almost feels like the nail of the coffin for me for this set. Just ooh. such a statement, but ooh, what a mix-up holding it. I don't know. You can't be sleeping on Kamek. I cannot, but this is looking so scary now. 68% till they had a fresh stock. Okay. I love how, you know, Tilly's been sniping, like, with all of these lasers. Really good, only just to stop, you know. Ooh, Sonic from actually using Spin Dash, especially, like, at the ledge. Oh. And that sad <laughs> fallout. Oh, no. 
Just kidding, Falco. Falco does not need more, but um. <laughs> oh no, oh no, okay, no. Gonna get there safely, however. Yeah. We're still in a situation where Kim can still approach. And until they, yeah, he could just stay still. Look at him, he's staying still. He's like, come to me, Kamex. You got it. Yeah. And when you got a deficit like that, until they just playing smart, not much you can do. Uh, game 3 is really unfortunate because I think that SD, like, obviously until they won by two stocks, so you'd say, oh, the SD didn't matter too much. But I think it just totally cut off Kamex's momentum. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if, like, he, like, lost his second stock in, in a different way and had that still this stock left, it could have just been such a different story. Absolutely. Just very sad. Oh, this was clean. That was absolutely clean. And they used their jump, too, in, you know, thick of all that. That was very good on Tilde's part. Yeah, it got, seems kind of tough to, to hit that input. You know, instantly grab ledge, drop ledge, uh, instantly, like, drop ledge, double jump. And this this was really smart. That was super smart from KMX. You oh. want to know the thing about drop down ledge? It's, it's very easy to do the input, especially with, you know, using jump as a trigger, which I didn't know because then you can actually use your seasick for, you know, like a back air. Yeah, I uh, I claw jump, or not, I, claw, I claw grip, mm -hmm. so I, I, I have an extra finger on jump, so it lets me do stuff like that, but uh, Period. I just have a, a freakish grip on my controller. You know, I've actually claw gripped since I was born, like four years old, playing. Born? Yeah. I don't know. Wait, hello? No, um, like, I was four years old playing, like, mm -hmm. Kirby Air Ride on the GameCube.